Hello everyone, this is the third video in the series of the videos describing about decimal number representation. In the previous videos we have discussed about what is decimal and what is decimal number representation as well as how we represent the tenths. In continuation to the same, here we are discussing about how to represent the hundredth. Okay, so let's take an example of a square. In the square, I am dividing the square into 10 equal parts. If I talk about the one part of the whole square, which is divided into 10 equal parts, one part of 10, we represent it by fraction as one part of 10, 1 by 10, and as decimal as 0 0.1. Here, dot represents the decimal place. Similarly, if I have to take a square and if I divide the square into 10 equal parts and each part I am again dividing it into 10 equal parts, I am taking one part of the 100. We represent that as 1 by 100 in fractions and if I have to represent that in decimals, I put here one more zero. Here this zero represents the tenths place and this one represents as the hundredths place. So here, if I have to represent one part of 100, I have to, as there is no tenths place, it's only 1. So this will be 0 and then followed by that 1, as this is one part of 100. If it had been two part of 100 or something as 2 by 100, we would have represented this as 0 0.02. Let's say, take one more example where we have 20 parts of 100. Let's say it's like a 20 by 100. If I simplify this, this again becomes as 2 by 10, which we already know is 0 0.2 or 0 0.2. So this way we understand how do we represent the hundreds. Going to the next example, in this example, we are given some blocks and we are asked to represent that blocks or uh, the numbers, the balls in that box or you can say the dots in that box into the place value table of ones, tenths, hundreds and number. So here the whole one square actually represents the ones. So let's consider the first example here. If it is fully filled with the dots, then it represents the ones. So as there is no, uh, you can say the whole complete square filled with dots, in the example in the first example a we put zero in the ones column we go next to the tenths column tenths column you can see that there is one block and the two blocks which are filled completely tens i mean ten uh, you can say two blocks are there which are completely filled with the balls so here you can see this is the tens are filled up by two and hundreds. Let's how count how many remaining balls are there or remaining dots are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 are there. So here the hundred space will be 6. So if I go to represent this number, this number come about 0 0.26. Let's consider the next example. I already told you the whole square, if it is filled up with dots, then it represents 1. So here you can say that there is 1 square. This is square which is completely filled up with dots. So here this becomes 1 followed by here. This is 1, 2 and 3. There are 3 blocks of 10 which are completely filled with dots. So here the tenths place I get 3 followed by 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and this number is 1.38 okay you can understand this in one more way how I'll tell you this whole square is representing what it is representing one square now we are here to see how much square is filled up with the dots so here as there are two squares one square is completely filled up with dots. We have saved one here. Let's go to the next square. 
in the next square 1 2 3 three parts of the whole let's if i divide into 10 parts three parts of 10 of the whole square is completely filled up with dots so here in the tens place three comes up and let's talk about the 100 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight parts if here two more would be there this would have become four parts of 10 but here there are eight parts of 100 if i divide this into 100 uh, blocks then this is the eight parts of the hundred blocks which I can say is covered with dots so here I represent this as eight okay so let's go to the next example and understand the same here it's very clear the fun part first whole part is completely filled up with dots let's go to the next part this let's first consider this is divided into ten blocks ten blocks means first this block and this blocks we can easily say that it's completely filled up with dots so here the tens place we get two and if you see here three three six and eight again so in the hundreds place we get here one dot twenty so the number is one twenty eight i hope this is clear we'll meet again in the next session thank you